Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. So I decided to do something a little different and make a video about coins or tokens as some people call them. Um, pretty much ones that I think that they are valued so low at the moment that there is enough movement for you to be able to make a good amount of profit should these coins double or triple in value. So these are coins that have dropped from their previous high when we saw this between May and August, we saw like a huge shoot up of the price of nearly every single coin. And I mean, every single coin in the top 100 benefited from Bitcoin and Ethereum going up. This was part of the huge hype and every other coin got dragged up with it. And these are some of them that were dragged up, but these are also coins that actually have real world use in some way or another. So I thought I'd tell you about them because I'll explain more as, as it goes on in the video, but you'll be able to see that because of the current price, where they are and where they were before and what they do, these coins have a huge chance of actually being adopted, being used by other people or actually being integrated into other big systems. And this is exactly what we're looking for when it comes to making money. So the first one on the list is Stellar Lumens. Um, you guys have, I'm sure, heard about Stellar Lumens before. The current price is two cents. So that is two cents <laughs> It's like from a dollar. Um, there's 11.5 billion of them circulating and the highest price that it has ever hit was six cents. And I believe this was a couple months ago when the entire jump happened. And since it's still sliding sideways slightly, but yeah, I'll explain that in a bit. So Stellar Lumens, what they say that they claim to be on their website is a platform that connects people, payment and banks. And this is a major thing, like I've always said before, once some company says that they are for banks and are made for banks, this is a pre-mined coin, obviously, because they need the money to be able to go back and forth quick enough for banks and not have to mine them for the banks. Once you get a bank to actually jump on board or once other banks start seeing that you have a viable option for them to send money cheaply and something that doesn't take four to five days, they will start to follow you. Um, one of the main reasons that I personally believe why Stellar Lumens is only sitting at around two cents is because of the popularity and usage of Ripple. Ripple has a lot of muscle when it comes to um, other, how do I say this? When it comes to persuading people to kind of use them, like I said before, there was a meeting last year sometimes when the Winklevoss twins were, were trying to get their ETF launched for Bitcoin. And at the end of the meeting, someone mentioned Ripple. Like this has kind of been dropped into people's minds. And as we've seen, Ripple has a lot of sway when it comes to getting people to use them. So this is one of the main reasons why I personally think why it's sitting at two cents, but because it is made for people and quote unquote banks, I think eventually not all banks will use Ripple. Not all banks use the same exact systems because they kind of usually don't agree with them. But at a certain point, if a bank does end up using Stellar properly, we will definitely see movement in the price. They offer micropayments, which is something that is really, really big right now. I've said before, Bitcoin has a really big problem when it comes to transactions. There was just an article from some other website. They were saying how if you have... <laughs> They, they made a transfer of $44 million in Ethereum and the network cost was 21 cents. And if you try to do that with Bitcoin, you will literally end up almost bankrupt. I have tried to do a payment the other day to send something to a friend and the transaction cost came out to $20. And I was like, okay, this is absolutely horrible. This is not how things should be. Um, another one of Stellar's aims is that they are services for the unbanked. This is another huge thing. Ripple does not Ripple claims to just be for banks and for use by banks, but the fact that Stellar is claiming that they want to be for the underbank, this is really big. We This will definitely come into play in countries um, around Africa, in South America, countries that have gone through war or stripe or are currently going through hyperinflation. This will be something that's very big. I said before in other videos as well that there are a lot of people who especially in South America who are going through hyperinflation at the moment and they are mining um, Bitcoin and whatnot, but these are other really cheap coins that these people can also have. Don't underestimate the value, like literally the, the value is low. Don't underestimate it the, to think that people won't be using these really cheap coins to also transfer value back and forth between themselves, between family members and other people around the world, sending them money through these things and not just through Bitcoin. So transactions on Stellar take two to five seconds, which is absolutely great. Like I've said before, it takes a long time on some of the bigger networks, mainly Bitcoin. Um, so Stellar.org, they wrote that they are a nonprofit that connects people to low cost financial services to fight poverty and to um, help unbanked individuals, which is, like I said, which is very, very great. 
At the moment, they're capable of doing 1,000 transactions per second, which is great. And they offer something that is called freeze, which is pretty much um, a lot of times a lot of people who have had major problems, I'm sure, when you were trying to send money to someone. If you send it to the wrong person, you are, um, I'm not going to say it on uh, on this video, but you are um, having a hard time, if, if I can say it that way. You, you have potentially lost your money they offer something where you are able to freeze your assets within a couple seconds after sending it to someone if you realize you have made a mistake so that when it does get to them they are completely incapable of using it whatsoever which then offers them they say an incentive to then send it back to the original sender assuming you know they say you know i can't use this what use do i have with this so let's send it back to the original sender which is something great I have haven't heard about other coins that have that even though i'm sure it is a thing that will eventually get started on other networks so they've been around since around mid 2014 but there's been barely any news on them if you guys haven't seen like i don't keep them out of my news on purpose but there's just basically been nothing about them for a really long time but i believe that the price is low enough for an entry that you guys can make enough of a profit should any type of success with the coin happen or even if there's another huge pump in the market what do I mean? Well, the, the current cost of it is two cents per coin. That is to say, if it goes from two to 10 cents, the highest was six cents. There's no reason to not believe that within from now or a year or in 2019 or even in 2020 that the price of it won't go to 10 cents or 15 cents. Even if it does go from two cents to 10 cents, you have made five times the money that you put inside of it. And this at the moment, it seems a lot more likely than Bitcoin going from 4,000 to $20,000 a coin. When I tell you guys prices, especially for this entire video, it's to, un it's to try and understand that a lot of things are just, um, I say like mental money barriers. And I, I don't know if I've explained that in other videos before. It's what I told people a long time ago to start getting into Ripple when it was less than one cent. I told everyone that the mental barrier was one cent. Once you pass that number, everything else is kind of easy. Going from one cent to 10 cents is completely easy because people see that this coin is undervalued in a certain way compared to other larger coins that people want to get into. The entire name of the game is money when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Regardless of what the coins can do, regardless of what the coins will do in the future, people are entering these things to make money. Do not be misled in any way, shape, or form. People may want some type of utopia to live in, but people only want money at the moment until the coins become super large and that no one can really get into these um, networks and stuff like that. So this is why I'm telling you these coins, particularly because I think that they have a huge chance of making it. And the like I said, going from two, two cents to 10 cents, you guys can even hear it as I'm saying it. It's almost nothing. People have pumped up other coins that are completely useless to around 30, 40 cents, and they had no real world use. So continuing on is another coin called SIA coin, S-I-A coin. The current price is 0.007 cents. So it is literally one decimal place behind one cent. There are 28.9 of them 28.9 million of them circulating and the highest price that a SIA coin has gone up to was two cents and that was on June 20th. So that literally, if it goes from the price that it is now to two cents, you will have quadrupled the amount of money that you put inside of it. SIA coin is a private decentralized cloud network that stores data on a blockchain. Anything and everything private or anonymous or something that the government can't touch that the IRS can't see, I am not personally condoning this. I have to say this for the video. Um, but these things will become huge as time goes on. There's been a lot of news of governments making their own coins, governments doing this, and governments trying to figure out what this is and trying to figure out who has money here and where. Anything where you can store your information in a private way that other people or governments cannot touch it, these things will eventually become massive as we go into the future. And I mean that literally. Um, so SIA apparently takes your data that you give them as it is a cloud service they split it apart they encrypt every single thing that has been split and they store your files amongst the network waiting for you to you know get it back whenever you want it they claim that other companies and larger forces have no access to it like other unlike other cloud services um there are a lot of people and i've met tons of them who believe that apple cloud-based services google and all these other things are completely untraceable that you can't get to them. And I've told many people before, there have been tons of cases where people's photos have been swapped with someone else's on on Google's cloud services. And it's kind of, 
I mean, as time, like I said, as time goes on, people will become more aware of this and they'll, be, they'll kind of go, okay, I don't want my photos. I don't want my information. I don't want this that I just read or sent to someone else to be seen by any other one. So they're going to start using these services. Why I think SIA could potentially catch on. Um, so one thing is for the actual price of the coin. And the second thing is the services that they offer. So for five terabytes of storage on their website, um, so Microsoft charges for five terabytes, $120 a month. Google charges 100, Amazon charges 115 and Sia charges $10. They say that they ultimately want to construct the largest storage super server on the net or the actual, the actually, actually the internet and the planet itself. They want to be the largest. Whether this will actually happen, I don't know, but this is another coin that will, I think at some point start to gain a lot of traction as more people start using these services. Just a quick side note, guys. Um, I've said this before in other videos as well. When I give you guys information, I don't give you information because I am being paid by these people. These are not advertisements in any way, shape, or form. I'm giving you this information, that stuff that I have looked up myself. I am not being fed money by these companies or corporations to promote their things. These are things that I think that you guys can properly uh, make money from. So like I said, SIA is 0 0.007 at the moment and the odds of it going up to 10 cents, like 10 cents is such a huge number, like it may seem low, but you will literally make around 12 times what the current price is right now. And I think that is completely possible. This is once again, a lot more realistic than Bitcoin going from 4,000 to 40,000 a coin, which I do not see happening anytime in the next two, three years, give or take. So up next on the list, we have District 0X. The coin is uh, DNT, um, it's currently at 13 cents and there are 600 million of them circulating. The highest price that this coin had was 26 cents and that was actually a couple days ago on August 21st. The lowest price that it was was one cent and that was on August 5th of this year. Um, the name personally, I know this is going to sound stupid and it might sound like I'm doing like a slight segue, but I am not. It is District 0X, so literally the number zero and then an X. I have a feeling that at a certain point they will do some type of name rebranding because as dumb as it sounds, you need your coin to sound cute and silly and amazing so that people can say it quickly. District 0X does not roll off the tongue, even if they call it Docs or something like that. That would actually be a lot better than the current name. I'm not knocking the name, but when it comes to being popular and stuff like that, you need something that will kind of click in people's heads when they say it or when they tell other people about it. So District 0X is a network of decentralized markets and communities. And one of the main things missing right now in the crypto world is we, 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 we lack something that we, a website, any type of system that is like eBay, Amazon, and Facebook. There are a couple other things that have kind of gotten started in this direction. Um, I think there's one called DTube or something like that, that someone told me about. There's um, Steemit, which tries to be like Facebook, Reddit, somewhere along this area. Um, and even a couple places where we can kind of sell things online, these things don't really exist. There are a couple places that have started and then completely fall into the ground when it comes to cryptocurrencies because they just don't have enough backing behind them. And this is one of the main things that I think that we actually need in order to get cryptocurrencies really out there. You've got to, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot. People keep saying, you know, the killer app. Everyone's waiting for the killer app when it comes to cryptocurrencies. They're waiting for one big coin or something that is built on top of one blockchain that literally launches it into the mainstream. There are tons of people who use Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, what have you, but there's nothing that is if, um, okay, so there are a couple websites that have come out of, um, apps actually, actually that have come out of China. And I think there's one that was based in Europe, but I'm not exactly sure how popular it is. I don't know if you guys have used it before. It's called live me or me live, or I am live It's something according something in, in, in this direction is pretty much you film yourself live. You show yourself throughout the entire day. It's actually kind of creepy, but there are tons of people who use it. So you pretty much show yourself throughout the entire day. People watch you and, and, and as they watch you, they can send you gifts and they can send you, you know, hearts and cards and this and that, and they can send you rainbows and all these things actually translate into real world money and diamonds and stuff like that on the platform. So the more you get, the more money you have coming to you for the people who are watching, they can send you stuff. If we had something like this, like this, it's one thing to have other websites where you can, you know, uh, post your own thing and then you got it like you like on steam and like you get steam for it etc cetera, etc cetera. but there's nothing if we have an app that actually does this where you can send even if it was dogecoin at this point 
that would literally get tons and tons of attention that would get into um, the crypto market. But at the moment, this is what we are lacking. District 0X is powered by Ethereum and Aragon, which is pretty cool. And in case you didn't notice from the name, District 0X is based around districts. These are basically marketplaces and communities that exist as decentralized autonomous organizations on the District 0X network. They say on their websites, all citizens will be able, I assume citizens means, you know, humans, normal, whatever. All citizens will be able to deploy districts to the network free of charge forever, which is great, especially if people actually catch on to this and more people start using this. Um, like I said before, the price is just at 13 cents. If this catches on, I could see because there's only 600 million. And I'll explain that number in a second, but this could definitely catch on and go up in price. It could possibly even hit $1 by the end of this year if their momentum keeps up so their coin dnt itself will allow holders to actually join these districts obviously after they've been made aid and aid in their governance which is also something so you have more of an incentive to have dnt and to use it on these platforms so depending on your stake in the districts so depending on how many dnt that you have vested into this district you'll receive an equivalent amount of voting rights when it comes to um rules and regulations and how the actual district works, which will be very interesting to see how that works as time goes on, because especially if someone has, you know, 100 million of these and they can kind of just swing back and forth and, you know, hold power over these things, this would be very, it, it's, it's I'm, I'm interested to see how exactly this will work. So when I said the 600 million thing, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but I actually, because I'm, I'm, I'm ridiculous, I went through the top, I think, 60 coins on CoinMarketCap and I was actually writing down the numbers. So all the coins that I've seen between the price of, rather, who have a current circulating supply of, of 300 million, they always rest around the same exact number, the same with 100 million and the same with 900 million. I was trying to do calculations on another coin that is supposed to be coming out soon to see exactly what the price will be. And I've actually been correct so far when it comes to that. So it seems that if you have around 300 million of one coin, if the coin is not hyped, if the coin is not touched, what have you, if it's not anything about it in the news, the price always seems to sit around 20 to 50 cents. This is exactly where the the price will some for some reason constantly go up and down. If your coin is at 100 million, it seems that the price will triple because you have three times less than that and it's the same with it around 900 million and this is exactly where district 0x is floating around right now there's 600 million and it's floating around 13 cents so it makes sense according to the 300 million number but i have a feeling like this coin will actually be used in some sort of way um i haven't seen any hype around it but just from what they are saying that they could do i see a huge promising future for this coin so this is definitely something that you could definitely profit from especially if it even just goes back to the price that it was before like i said i'm telling you guys the prices of these coins and about these coins because these are still in the cents they're not in the dollars they're not things that are 10 15 so you can only get maybe three or four of the coins you know if you put a hundred dollars into these coins or fifty dollars into these coins you can get a huge enough amount that when it does double that you are making a significant amount of return so I was actually not going to talk about this one, but I actually read up a bit on it. Um, I, I spoke about, I think, very briefly in another video about Bytecoin, B-Y-T-E-C-O-I-N, and about that the price seemed really, really low for what it was. So Bytecoin is 0 0.001 right now, so just one decimal away from one cent. There are 183 billion, that is billion with a B, of them circulating. And the highest that has ever been is four times what it was right now. So at 0 0.004. Like I said, we've heard very, 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 very little about Bitcoin over the last few months. It was There was a bit of hype at the beginning of the year. People kept on, you know, mumbling about it and then it kind of just completely died down um this could completely change um so bitcoin offers zero free money zero fee money transfers on their network which is something like i said is going to be very big as time goes on they've even been talking about this in ethereum how to lower their fees even though their fees are very low for the size of the coin they offer they offer flexible levels of anonymity which is great um, because like I said before, this will also become very big as time goes on. They posted something to their website. Even when you go on their website and it has like a news section and you look through it, they don't have much news. It's actually kind of, it looks like a, like a, a, a desert or something like that. But they did post something on August 16th. So that's not that many days ago. They posted 
what they call a roadmap for the coin. And if any of this happens, if any of this is actually true, or especially if every single thing that they say on this is actually true, there could be a spike in the price. Like I said, it is one decimal behind one cent, and I see no reason why at a certain point it won't even hit one cent. So they say on their website that September 1st, they will um, have a web wallet release, which is great because it allows more people to use it. October 1st, they say that they're releasing a mobile wallet, which is even greater because a lot of people in other countries, like I've said before, who don't have access to computers, not more, not the internet, more so, you know, an actual computer or a laptop who just use their phones, mobile wallets will definitely come into play. They say also on October 1st that the three largest exchanges, I assume they mean, um, or rather I assume that they're talking about Poloniex, Bittrex, and um, Kraken. I'm not 100% sure they don't say names on their website. They say that they will be integrated into these systems, or rather they will, you know, they will be offered on these websites, they will be listed by them. November 1st, they say the new features are coming to the coin, they don't say what, but on December 15th, they said that coins will then be untraceable, which like I said before, this is going to be a really big thing. I don't know if you guys have seen in the last couple of days, I believe it's, oh gosh, what is it? It's um, Zcash, Dash, and Monero. The prices of them have completely gone up because there's been news about government agencies that have started tracking Bitcoin. So people are, I'm sure, are taking their money out of these things and putting them into these safe haven coins which is going to be a very big thing i don't know if you guys i keep i keep repeating it just so i kind of hammer the thought in there these are going to be very very big thing a lot of people in the crypto sphere like anonymity they like people not knowing what they are doing and where their money is rightfully so because it is their money so these are going to become very very big and this is why i see bitcoin at least hitting one to five cents if not this year then sometime next year once all these things are implemented so there were a couple other coins that I was going to talk about, but I, I just, they have no real purpose. Like I found these coins because they can actually be used in the real world. They may have something in the next couple years where people find use for them, but a whole bunch of other coins just have kind of whatever. I told you guys a couple months ago about um, EOS, EOS. A lot of people were asking me, should they get into it once the ICO had first been launched and the price was around $5 per coin? I said, no, wait till it's around $1 something. I think the current price is around $1.30. I think this is an okay price entry point. Like I've said before, do your research when it comes to all these things that I've tell you that, that I've told you about, everything that I tell you. Constantly do your research. Um, EOS in theory sounds wonderful, but a lot of these companies haven't even written any code yet when it comes for these coins. No one knows what they can actually do. It's one thing to say that we're going to do this, but when you have nothing actually given out to people, it's kind of all up in the air. The price seems low enough that I don't, th it could obviously go below $1, but there seems to be a significant amount of not hype, but like the, the, there's a, a floor, like it seems to have hit that number and I don't see it going any lower unless we get some bad news about the coin or there's just absolutely no hype or any news from the company in the near future. I, I mentioned Steam earlier in the video. I was going to um, talk about them as well, but I use Steam it for a while. I don't know if you guys have ever used Steam it. So it's like Reddit, but Steam it, S T E E M I T, not, not Steam as in, you know, hot Steam, Al Burns you. Um, I used them for a while and the entire point of Steemit is pretty much to, you can post content on this website, you can post things that you made, post apparently things that you've also seen that other people have used, and I don't really see it going much further. Like I said, I used the platform for a couple of months, I think the, the value of it is around 150 per coin, it's constantly going up and down, like shooting back and forth. Each day, the people or the creators of the Steam coin, they say that they're trying to peg it to the US dollar to around exactly $1. So there's slight price fluctuations back and forth. And this seems to be one of the major problems with the coin. A lot of people have been asking me to talk about the Steam coin. And this is literally going to be me talking about it. Um, I think the platform isn't that great simply because there are a lot of people on there. They're posting stuff from other people. Like no one, very few people are posting their own content on the site the co the coin seems low enough that if the how do i say this if enough people join steemit and start using steemit i think it could go somewhere but at the very moment there are so many other places who are trying to mimic exactly what steemit is doing and eventually one of them will make it um i personally don't think that within the next couple of years that they will make it and the entire structure 
of steam it so pretty much the way that it works is is that the more steam steam or steam power that you have you can actually upvote your own content that you put on to the website so if you see that someone else has had you know has a video that you like or something else that you like you can actually give them money but the entire incentive is is to have enough steam power on the network to be able to upvote other people's things but like i said you can also upvote your own things and what happens when you upvote your own things is that other people can then also upvote your stuff giving you more money because they receive a small fraction of what they've given you but there are people on that website who are making a thousand dollars a day just from having upvoted themselves you 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 give yourself fifty dollars other people give you this money so the smaller people have no way to actually benefit from it so if you in some way have you know a hundred thousand lying around that you want to continuously give yourself money every single day steam it is the place for you but as it comes to the, you know buying the actual coin for smaller investors i do not recommend it and actually using the platform for smaller investors i do not or, or like if you're trying to make money in any way shape or form i would stay away from it and that is just what i think i am waiting for your um, hateful comments from that all right, guys, I'm really sorry for the super long video. If you notice, I was trying to talk as quick as possible. I didn't want this to be a 50 minute video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got something from it. Um, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys have seen any type of movement in any other coins that you also believe in or that you think could eventually move in a certain place. Like I said, there are over a thousand coins, I believe, right now in the crypto market, and not all of these coins will make it. There's no way, shape, or form, but there are a lot of them that are very promising that could be around for the next five, six, seven years, and I don't mean the ones in the top 20, the ones that I always talk about. There are other smaller coins that are starting to emerge that you can definitely profit from, and these, these may even be great long-term holds, especially if these things develop and if they are starting to become integrated into other systems or people make an app with these things all righty guys i'm out of breath completely um <laughs> i hope you guys have a great day morning afternoon evening wherever you might be i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you all soon see you hey everyone thank you very much again for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys would like to help me and the channel there are ways to do so in the description below thank you very much and talk to you guys soon